لقاها يدا كل لحظه يتجدد يا عيال زايدة البيت متوحد قول يا قطعة من الروح نرسل لك احنا شواك ويا حمام الدوح غاليين طيبين جينا نرد الدين والله نحبكم احنا العراقيين I'm a proud citizen of uh, Dubai, born and raised in Dubai. Uh, been, uh, I've done my graduation here in Dubai, I've done my IT courses in Dubai with uh, Microsoft and Cisco. Uh, so I've had a journey of uh, 25 years. Uh, yes. My corporate journey started as a, a teenage kid uh, from promotions in Jitex, uh, you know, moving into corporate jobs, uh, and I got into Siemens. Yes. Uh, got a good opportunity to start my career in the field of IT at that time. IT was in boom, so I joined uh, Siemens uh, Dubai Airport Terminal 3 project, yes. the baggage handling system project, which I was the head of IT, heading the IT department, and we successfully installed and implemented the project. And uh, as you know, uh, you want to do more challenges in life, you want to try and do more things in life, so uh, I thought let's, uh, you know, in pursuit of success, I, you know, wanted to get more uh, experience into the different industries. So I got into the field of events. Uh, I got into events and entertain entertainment. I started working with uh, ARN Radio as a DJ, part-time DJ, uh, doing their spin doctor show on weekends. Um, in 2004, I did uh, the event Mega with Megastar Bollywood event uh, with Salman Khan, Jalwa 2004. This was a big scale event which we had organized uh, together uh, with uh, our event organizer at Nadal Shiba Club. So it was a big popular event and obviously, uh, you know, as, as in long life is a journey. The journey has been, every journey is a learning and a great experience. And obviously, uh, I moved towards the uh, family business of mine, which is towards uh, the sustainability of uh, uh, power solutions. So we established uh, Nexus LED lighting in 2010, uh, and we delivered some iconic projects, uh, such as the Rolls-Royce CityWalk project, uh, Altai Motors, we did uh, the Ferrari uh, and Range Rover workshops. Uh, we successfully did the uh, Abu Dhabi Motors as well. So yeah, I mean, you know, we've just been trying to learn as much as we can because, I mean, you know, in the, as the, uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed says, in the race of finishing line, there's no finishing line in, for success, you know. You, in race of perfection, there is no finishing line. So you have to be uh, yeah, number one, exactly. So yeah, born and raised as a Dubai kid, uh, you know, uh, it's always been a passion and a dream to move into the auto, auto, uh, automotive industry. Yes. So obviously, I've seen growing up luxury cars, you know, Dubai is known for having the best luxury cars, you know, you see uh, more Bentleys, Ferraris, uh, Lamborghinis, uh, more than anywhere in the world, you know. Yes. So it was a goal and a dream and a passion to get into the automotive industry. Obviously, look, uh, I did have a vision of becoming an entrepreneur soon into this industry. So in 2016, I started a challenging position with Messe Frankfurt uh, and joined them uh, for the international conference Future Mobility, uh, which focuses with the uh, UA's vision uh, for making Dubai the most sustainable 
uh, and EV friendly and autonomous driving in Dubai. So I was involved in conference with uh, ESMA, RTA, Dubai Police, uh, DIVA to ha and worked with uh, Tesla and GM Motors in collaboration in having a successful project on how we can have the Tesla cars on board. So we successfully managed to sign a contract with them to get Uber uh, with Tesla. That was one success project that I had uh, made it possible on the conference with RTA and Dubai Police uh, and with Diva. And uh, yeah, uh, so uh, coming back to how we started uh, Carbe. Uh, so it's a story about uh, two best friends. Uh, so myself and my friend Sharon. Uh, we're best friends. We've known each other for the past 15 years. It's over a decade of relationship that we've had. And as Dubai kids, you know, we've uh, had uh, this uh, thing of, you know, keeping our cars clean and shining. So on a Friday morning, we would, you know, call each other and say, you know, let's go for a car wash, you know, get our cars clean and shining. And so we would go with both of our cars and drop one car at the car wash and then find the nearest Starbucks and sit over there and, you know, discuss ideas, you know, and discuss things and look at Dovizel, uh, look at the cars. And that was our uh, main interest of subject. We used to always discuss cars. And uh, finally, we turned our uh, dreams into a reality and we established Carbe uh, in 2020 during COVID. Uh, the most uh, important challenge for us uh, during COVID was uh, due to the, the curfews and the lockdowns. Our conference uh, team was trying to get this project up and running but we had a delay of six months so our consultants contractors uh, our staffing sales management marketing everything was delayed by six months but uh, thankfully we've been going forward successfully and we then you know managed to get everything in place and we're still evolving we still have a lot of changes to make and we're still adapting towards uh, making uh, uh, car bay a more sustainable uh, place for the Dubai residents and as per the vision of uh, Dubai 2021 and Expo 2020 we want to make sure that we are as Carbib contribute towards the success and sustainability and growth of the economy of Dubai. The next thing that I would like to highlight here is uh, about uh, our leaders. Uh, I would like to take uh, the opportunity to thank His Highness Sheikh Mohammed for his uh, uh, vision for Maidan project, which enables uh, young entrepreneurs to start up companies like us as a startup company yes. to start business at a low cost uh, and have a business in the mainland. So for us, we probably are the first success company here today to launch uh, the mainland company in Dubai uh, as a Maidan Free Zone uh, LLC. We established in Feb 2022 uh, Carbe LLC LZ, which is focusing in used car sales, online car sales auction, car rental services. Uh, and we are looking towards, uh, like I said, the sustainability is the key here. So we want to provide a one-stop solution for all the car enthusiasts and car lovers. Uh, at our premises over here on Carbe and of course uh, we are going to be launching ourselves on the digital platforms as well so people who cannot uh, come face to face or don't want to have a physical interaction or face to face on digital platforms they will have access to our services as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Ash, how you choose your staff, your employees? Uh, well, it's, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's about uh, finding someone who is OCD about the business. Uh, as myself and my friend, we both are, we both are like uh, two besties who are OCD about things, you know. So even our cars have to be clean. We've been very clear about it since day one. We've, and uh, the same f philosophy goes with our staff and team. Uh, we look at candidates who are passionate about keeping the cars clean and who are passionate about what they're doing. So obviously we, we, we do a training with them, uh, we do trials with them, we give them cars to work with and we have a very flexible working hours. So we are very uh, open 
uh, as a management, we have an open door policy. So we are very friendly with the team. We treat our employees as a family. So if they have a problem, their problem is ours. So as a, as a company, we take care of their problems as a family. And we have given them full access to the facilities and whatever needs they have uh, or technologies or techniques they want to use uh, for the services of our customers, we always support them. What yes. does this mean for you? Uh, see, I'm born and raised in Dubai and obviously uh, when it comes to security, uh, our leader, our father, our poet and our knight, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, the Vice President of Dubai, has been on the forefront of investment. Uh, our father, His Highness Mohammed, Sheikh Mohammed, has left no stone unturned. Uh, and has heavily interest, uh, invested in the infrastructure uh, of uh, the Dubai economy. And if you see Dubai police uh, has the fleet of the fastest cars in the world. Uh, our cars were taken down to Germany as well, to other countries as well. Uh, in part of some great races, uh, we've had smart drones, we have flying bikes. So I think what 
uh, our leader has done, what our father has done is uh, something amazing and every resident feels a sense of safety and security living in Dubai. Send massive thanks for leaders of the way. Yes. And members, members. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I, I again would like to take the opportunity once again to thank the leaders for, of uh, UAE for making Dubai an iconic city and creating iconic presence in the world. In the yes. map, now Dubai is known as an iconic city because we have the best airlines, Emirates Airlines. Emirates Airlines is the biggest, uh, the best, the world's best airlines and the biggest hub, Dubai is the biggest travel hub uh, and we've had the maximum number of passengers in, during Expo 2020 which is again a success story for Dubai. Burj uh, Khalifa again is an iconic uh, project of Dubai, uh, Blue Waters and there's a lot of developments where Dubai is, you know, looking to have records and as one of the residents and an entrepreneur. Uh, I would like to quote on uh, our visionary, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed's uh, quote, uh, where he said in one of his interviews, which I am a big fan of him. So I, I liked one sentence, a quote of his, which I will share. It's like, when I can give my people everything today, then why should we wait for tomorrow? And this is what we would also at Karbe like to establish uh, in making Dubai the world's number one country to have electric vehicle cars in the world. Dubai should be the first country in the world to have the maximum number of electric vehicle cars on the road. And this is where Carbe will come into the future and in, come in line with UAE's, UAE government's vision to have uh, Dubai a more sustainable and environment friendly place as per vision 2021 of Dubai. If you want to send message thanks for someone who support you from your friends, from your family, it's up to you. Message thanks for who? Uh, of course, I would like to thank my parents because of them I'm here. Uh, uh, my dad, of course, he uh, uh, moved here in the early 70s. So obviously, uh, my dad has been in Dubai and uh, uh, my whole family has been a support. And of course, my best friend Sharon, uh, who also is one of the key stakeholders and the co-founder of Carbe uh, believed and invested in uh, in our dreams together and it's it's all about teamwork and it's all about brotherhood and it's all about family so we work as a family and uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's a great journey and we still have a long way to go to success yeah. you also thank about our channel and thank you Mr. Welcome. In our program, you can tell us about your location here, Karbe, in Dubai, exactly. Yeah, so we are uh, strategically located uh, off uh, Sheikh Zayed Road, uh, behind Commercial Bank of Dubai and First Gulf Bank of Dubai. Uh, we're one station before Mall of Emirates. Uh, the station was previously called FGB Station. Now the metro name has changed, obviously. But yeah, we're just one station uh, before uh, Mall of Emirates. And we're strategi strategically located uh, behind Persia Murur and uh, the metro station. So uh, we have a very safe environment here. Uh, we have online booking appointments. So uh, people can feel free to uh, book online appointments for the services that we provide. Yeah.